elite fighter. This was a fight that you wanted to prove that you were at the elite level. When you dropped him, what were you thinking? That querías demostrar que eres un peleador de élite. Lo demostraste sobre todo en ese sexto asalto. ¿Qué pensaste cuando lo tumbaste con esa derecha? Bueno, primero que nada, thank you for everybody for coming to, to this fight. Um, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you to Lomachenko. Thank you to, to his team. To Bo Aaron for te to top round, taking promotion, Golden Boy promotion. Thank you for good, good opportunities. So, la verdad que... No me sorprendió como realmente pensé que me iba a sorprender con su juego de piernas, con sus golpes en todos lados. Es un boxeador muy bueno, muy, muy, muy bueno. Y la verdad que la, la, la pelea se estaba poniendo interesante, pareja, como lo dije al principio. Y tuve la oportunidad de, senta, de, de, de darle knockdown. Y bueno, sí, el, el primer golpe que recibí abajo lo, lo, lo recibí bien, lo aguanté. Pero sí me sorprendió en el, en el, en el, en el décimo round. No me really sorprendió en términos de su speed, but... I did recognize the fact that he was moving well, but nothing that I didn't expect. I was able to drop him with that overhand right, and I got myself into this fight, and then he landed a, a body shot. I was able to withstand the first one, but the second one, it was perfectly landed. Te levantaste, ¿podías continuar o hizo lo correcto el referee en detenerla? No, sí podía continuar, pero el referee creo que la paró. Let's not forget, that was a very, very uh, good fight, and also... Lenoris called out Lomachenko, you know, so you got to give him his credit. Um, I'm very impressed and happy with his level of activity over the last two years. So, for example, he's fighting this weekend against Abner Cotto, who's been on a nice little streak um, since losing to who did he lose? Javier Fortuna. That was on a Fanfara card or something somewhere. But long story short, um, He's coming back on the 29th, this Saturday. The fight's going to be free on uh, Facebook, on the Golden Boy Fight Night Facebook. Not the Golden Boy Promotions Facebook page. The Golden Boy Fight. Let me show you. Let's go full screen. I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe. So they have two pages. They have their um, Fight Night page where they show fights. The Ryan Garcia fight was on there. Jojo Diaz uh, fight was on there. I forgot um, um, when that was, but it was a disaster. But the Ryan Garcia fight went good, and um, now they got um, him versus uh, Abner Cotto. Why can't I click on this? Well, anyway, it's 9 p.m. EST. And um, I'm looking forward to it. They got some original programming on there. Oh, wrong screen. Yeah, I was real pissed off at them for the Jojo Diaz fight. But they got it together during the uh, Ryan Garcia fight. All right, all right, we're done. I don't know why it's like, oh, yeah, that's another thing. Something about um, using Facebook, like we're doing what I'm doing and using Facebook, it uh, it's a lot of lag. Like if I'm doing like using YouTube videos or something like that, it's not as much lag. But anyway, nonetheless, um, he's now fighting at 140 pounds. To take a look at the 140 pound division and see where he racks up as you know or if you don't know there's a uh, tournament for pretty much all the belts at 140 pounds outside of the uh, maurice uh, hooker fight maurice hooker is going to be taking on uh alex Osito on a uh, top rank on espn in um early november you have um jose ramirez who's um he just won against antonio orozco Ramirez probably will fight the winner of Hooker versus Saucedo next, even though he just fought a couple of weeks ago. Right now, it's um, September the 24th, 2018, uh, 2.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then, looking at the 140-pound division, you have um, Josh Taylor, who's in the World Boxing Super Series uh, tournament, um, Kirill Relock versus Troy Novsky fighting in the World Boxing Super Series tournament. Mario uh, Barrios, top ring fighter. I mean, um, a, a Al Heyman ish fighter. Al, Al Heyman, Showtime fighter. It's going to be interesting to see what he does with his career since he's not in the tournament. 
tournament. Um, Baracek versus um, Yidzik going to be fighting for the vacant IBF title. Remember, these are titles that Terrence Crawford vacated when he beat Julius Yandangu and moved up. So since, you know, they've been being captured. Um, and we already talked about um, Hooker versus Sosito. So looking at Jorge Linares as a fighter, for one, yes, he does have a suspect chin. You know, nonetheless, you know, a guy like Abner Cotto, he has to take very seriously. You see what I'm saying? You know, given the circumstances. But as I said, I do like the fact that um, by the time he gets into the ring this weekend, it'll be just days, just a little, just a little less than um, two years and a week that he's had six fights. See, from Crowler to uh, that was back in um, September of uh, 2016. Then Crowler again, you know, in March of 2017. Luke Campbell, who's now once again the WBC mandatory 135 pounds, and he would have beaten on the cards, um, um, or would have been the draw if he wouldn't have got knocked down against um, Jorge Linares. Marcito Gesta, you know, that was a comeback fight, fight basically a few months later after a tough fight, and then uh, Lomachenko, in which he called Lomachenko out. Golden Boy in top rank made it happen. And now uh, Abner Cotto. So it's going to be interesting to see um, what route he goes from here. Looking at Abner Cotto, Javier Fortuna. He lost to, uh, wait, did he be? He lost to, yeah, he lost to Francisco Vargas. What card was this? Yeah, Leo Santa Cruz versus, my, yep, I remember this. Canelo versus Angulo. Angulo. I covered that. Omar Figueroa, who we haven't seen in God knows when since he beat up uh, Robert Guerrero, 147, retired him. So looking at the wins that he's racked up, you know, in the last couple of years since losing to Javier Fortuna after having nearly, um, what's that, a um, year and a half layoff? Not even a year, I'm, I'm, you know, about a, just a little over a year. I'm expecting a good scrap. So the media workout is uh, tomorrow. They're not having a press conference, but we will be um, covering um, the fight week events. So the way in the media workout and um, top rank has a car too. I got to get to the world box of super series Groves versus Smith uh, finals is this week. So it's a big week of overall um, um, international boxing. If that makes sense. I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.